What's up, gang? It's Terry Gibbons, and welcome to the No Bread Week Challenge. Right, so this is the third challenge of the eight reset challenges, and let's talk a little bit about bread. So I can hear it right now, Terry, I can't live without bread. Terry, I will die if I don't have bread. Terry, I can't not eat bread. Calm down, everyone. Calm down. This is not going to be the forever don't eat bread in your life challenge. We're only going to do this for one week as an experiment because I want you to see what happens if you don't eat breads and pastas and you cut back on some of those foods just for a little while. So bread. Nothing's wrong with bread in and of itself. Bread has been around for thousands of years. Human beings have been eating bread and it's a wonderful thing. But if you think about it, right? Bread is not the most natural occurring substances on the earth, right? You're never going to walk out in a field and just see loaves of bread on the vine and you pick one and this one is ripe, right? We're just not going to do that. It's a quite the process to make bread, right? It starts off as wheat. It just starts off as a plant. But between the milling, the evaporation, the addition of yeast, the processing, right? They, tear, they turn it into this fluffy, clogging, kind of puffy type material, right? It's like a sponge, this stuff is. And that is the problem. The problem is that we have this one tube in our body, right? It's 30 feet long and it travels and squishes all around and it starts right here and it ends right around there, right? And it's only about yay big. And as we start to shove some breads in there, it starts to expand. Right? If you ever play with plaster of Paris when you're a kid, right? Plaster of Paris. You take this white powder, you mix it with water, do 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 do. You form it into shapes, and then as it dries, it gets hard as a rock. It's like the same way they make a cast. Well, that's going on with this stuff too, right? You chew this up, and bread then recombines inside of you. And if you're dehydrated or you're just not moving things through, it slows down every other food that comes behind it. Right, it's super simple. It's a slow moving thing on the highway of digestion. All the other foods like, well, bread, move your butt on. Bread is slowing and clogging you up. So when that happens, right, these tubes start to expand. And then you start to get the pooch going on here. You start getting the pooch because the food is, is blog. It's like a snake trying to follow, uh, swallow a mouse. And there's this lump moving through you. And if you're not getting enough fiber on top of that, and you're not getting enough enzymes to digest that, it starts to expand and all of a sudden you're belching, right? You got bad breath or you got gas going on. You get this pot belly you can't get rid of. You're trying to do push-ups, get rid of the pot belly or sit-ups. They're not going anywhere because you can't sit up uh, some bread that's already in you. So here's what the No Bread Week Challenge is. You are going to take one week, seven days, and you're going to cut out breads, but not just bread. Read the list below. We're talking breads, we're talking pastas, we're talking white rices, we're talking a lot of fluffy things. This is not a gluten thing, right? Gluten is a, a thing, obviously, that's affecting people with celiacs. So this is not about cutting out uh, gluten. This is about cutting out a fluffy, clogging thing that fills up our expanding tube that's in our belly. So, like, there's an alternative, right? Instead of having bread, the alternative to bread are tortillas. Right? You can have all the tortillas you want. Yes, they're made of wheat quite often, and yes, they have gluten in them, so obviously this is not about that. This is about something that's less clogging, less filling, less uh, bulking for you. So if you want to order some foods, hey, instead of getting it as a sandwich, say, hey, can I have this as a wrap? And in California, it's pretty easy. Everywhere else, it might be a little tougher, but if you keep asking every week, eventually they'll get some darn wraps. So instead of sandwiches, get some tortillas. Wrap it up, it's flatter, right? What you'll notice, your digestion is going to explode. You're going to be so much better, faster with, uh, with how your body processes things. You're not gonna get as much heartburn because there won't be as much uh, clog. And then your body's trying to figure out where the hell can I take this to? I'm clogged up. What do I do? You're going to have a lot better uh, energy, right? Because you won't be as lethargic because your body's trying to break down this overprocessed stuff. So your job is to cut out the list of foods below for one week and then see what happens, right? Don't try to commit to doing it for the rest of your life. See what happens for seven days. Tell everyone you know to do this thing and make sure when you're doing that, you keep up your water intake. Keep up a ton of water. You want to drink half your body weight in ounces of water every day while you're cutting out the bread. You can flush out all the old stuff. Half your body weight in ounces. I'm 200 pounds. Half of 200 is 100. I need 100 ounces per day. 
and then that cut out the bread, you're gonna see an amazing shift in your body. So start tracking your measurements, start tracking your weight so you can see what happened to you. Tell the world, you know what I know? I know that you can do this and I believe in you guys. So be well.